So if you have any interest in making voxel art visuals, making voxel art characters, you might have figured out that usually most of the voxel art characters are made out of pieces of blocks. And in this video, I'm just going to show you how to get this whole model fixed up and optimized. If you have voxel art like Magicka voxel and you have created your character which has separated limbs, just duplicate it and then you have to click the save button to save the project you'll have another project where you can edit the whole character this is what you should do move all the limbs apart like this select all of them and just in the boolean just merge all these all objects together and you will get something like this but inside the blender we are going to put this whole character back together so if you have this ready to export, all you have to do is just click export and just export as object and just save it as object. And we're going to fire up a Blender project. So at the moment I am using a Blender 4.0. And before you do anything else, you will have to get a Voxel Cleaner add-on. Voxel Cleaner add-on is very easy to obtain. All you have to do is just go to this website that I linked down below. Person who created a very useful Voxel tool which you can get a basic version for free select this free version type in zero unless you want to support this person click the get currently recommend you to claim a version 2 because I tested the version 3 and it does not have a very custom material export method like the version 2 unfortunately now if you don't trust this website I'll have my blender file linked in so you could just download it from the Google Drive instead if you don't trust this I did put my email and I received the file so so it's up to you what you want to do. So once you're gonna get that file, go to edit first preferences and just click install the add-on, get the file that you downloaded, voxcleaner.py and just install this add-on, tick the thing and you will and you should get this UI up here. So now that we have the blender set, we are going to import our character file, import wavefront object, call it red eye king, just get the object file, that's all we need and we're gonna hit import. Port. And that's what we are going to get. The reason why we merged all these shapes together is because because if you didn't, then you will have to import piece by piece and it's just gonna take a while and it's gonna be a nightmare and boring and yeah. Version 3 of Vox Cleaner has this feature where you can actually import everything by using Vox file but at the moment I'm just using this method so it's up to you what you want to do. Anyway, first things first we are going to set up unit scale. Go to this setting area here and we're going to go to units and set unit system to none. This will allow us to have a custom subdivision to circle here and just on this arrow get this overlay change this number what scale you built your voxel art in if you're using classic 16 by 16 or 32 by 32 that's what you just type in change your own scale here mine is going to be 25 by 25 because that's my preferred size and I will get a unit with 25 pixels in here now that we have a scene set select this object and we're just going to press s and scale it down while holding control till it's going to match all the pixels. There you go. So it's perfectly scaled down object. Pixels are matching the size. Next thing we are going to do is go into edit mode by pressing tab, then press A to select all the shapes. And we're just going to move it to align the character properly. Now, as you can see, to align it perfectly, since I'm using odd number, I'm going to set up on 50 so I could have more windows and then just move it perfectly in the middle. So just not to confuse you, double pixels in unit unit size if you're having a odd number but if you're using 16 by 16 or 32 by 32 you should have no issues for centering the shape and if I go to the side view which is pressing 3 I'm trying to align it where the calf part and the foot part meets this square but in the middle right over here. So basically the heel parts should be perfectly in the middle of the X axis. So now that we got that, select all the faces. We're gonna zoom in a little bit more, click shift, S together, use the selection to the grid. Object gets snapped to the grid properly and make it pixel perfect. As you can see already, this shape is super unoptimized. It has way too many faces. Some of the vertices are just not connected at all. That's why we're gonna have to clean them up properly. Hold Z and just go to the wireframe and I'm gonna have this view in object mode. Click Control and A and apply all transforms. And now we're going to separate 
separate all these parts from the single object into multiple objects. All the materials or textures will not be affected. Do this in edit mode. Just make sure that you have selected wireframe, select one piece and just gonna click on the keyboard P and selection all limbs like this. There you go, all the parts have been separated and now we're just going to name all them parts because it's a very good practice. The foot.r, r meaning right and l will mean that it's left. So we got all the parts renamed and as you can see here we still have one object that is untitled and that was the original imported file you can delete it now put this whole shape together and make sure to move all these shapes in the edit mode in order to contain the origin point in the same place And there we go, we have put this whole character back together. Now we're gonna select all parts and then control A, apply all transforms. And now we're going to clean up this entire model. I will have a link of the person who created this tool and showcasing how to use this tool in the description down below if you want to learn the full thing. But this is what we are going to do. So we're going to use a two-step clean system. Before we do anything, we need to create a path where we're gonna store all these uh, exports. What you can do is export directly into your game project. I'm just going to call it Red Eye King. Uh, that's where we're gonna store it. We're gonna set the resolution on the smallest possible just so it could save as much of space as possible and just set the whole material to black. So the best thing about this tool is that all UVs will be baked automatically. Now that we have all the path set and all the settings done, in object mode just select any shape because this tool only allows to do one piece at a time it's gonna be a bit manual work so we're gonna go to the material properties select a shape and just click the button prepare for bake your whole shape will become black object has been rebaked however we still haven't baked a texture zero out all the inputs because we don't really need any of that uh, voxel art does not really need to be shiny or glowing or stuff like that unless you want to well it's up to you I usually just like to zero out absolutely everything and once you've done that you'll see that the whole shape is completely black that's not a problem all we have to do is just click bake texture again texture will appear finish cleaning just click export FBX and then we're gonna hide the shape by clicking H and now we're gonna do the same thing for every shape There we go, exported every single piece. Gonna toggle back on all the parts. The whole model has been cleaned clearly. There's a lot less vertices now, more optimized. So now that we have the whole character uh, exported, we did this to get all the material for each object. This is the first step, scale down all the objects and then apply all the transforms and just export it. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to create armature how to create a rig and of course just don't forget to save your projects so thank you for watching i hope you learned something new that is if you're interested in voxel art area and i'll see you in the next video